Welcome back to NBC3 News at 6. Tonight we continue our story of Shelby, who collapsed at Green Lake State Park with a critical heart problem. A dedicated owner, generous donors, and a high-tech veterinary team at Cornell University made implanting a pacemaker possible. But the procedure takes time, and it does have risks. Tonight, we take you behind the scenes of the procedure in this NBC3 exclusive. Shelby the Wheaton Terrier means everything to her 17-year-old owner, Casey. Since the day her dog collapsed with a critical heart condition, Casey stayed committed to saving her best friend. We can get the cable, you know, the PSA cable. Quality veterinary care in Syracuse, help from the Shamrock Animal Fund, and Cornell University's patient assistance brought Shelby to this opportunity. And we need to set the patches on at the same time, right? Dr. Romain Perio is a nationally known cardiologist at Cornell's Veterinary College. He's leading the team of technicians and specialists who will boost Shelby's heart rate from 30 beats per minute to a normal rate of 70. Years of training and state-of-the-art technology allow for the precise implantation of the electrode leads into the heart wall muscle. Then we insert the electrode uh, inside this vein, so we use the vein to guide us to guide us into the heart. Real-time fluoroscopy images are a streaming series of x-rays. It help us guide you know, so this electrode right, this, uh, that we have to place from the, from the neck into the heart. And then so it helps us guide this electrode down at the right spot. So without uh, an image, then we wouldn't be able to know uh, where the, the tip of the electrode is located and if it's at the right spot. So it's very critical that we use, we use that. The outcome for Shelby, outstanding. As you could see, it's in place and it's working fine. We tested all the parameters and uh, everything looks good at this point. So we're really happy. Each member of the operating team contributed to this pet getting her pacemaker. How would you describe that, the team effort that's required to make this work? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's really teamwork and that's what we, we like usually to work with the same people. We, you know, we don't have to talk to each other to understand what we, what we have to do. And as you could see, the anesthesia team was really controlling the airways, making sure the dog's heart rate was fine, he was getting oxygen, and we really could focus on the procedure itself. And restoring a normal heart rate for Shelby. The teamwork that helped her extends to the community. Cornell's Patient Assistance Fund is sustained with donations, usually from owners who had a pet receiving care at Cornell because they saw or heard about a case in the waiting room and understood that, you know, they had that that individual was going to be challenged to take care of that pet, but was trying to do what was best. What was best for Shelby? Getting that pacemaker and being reunited with Casey. All hearts beating and filled with love. Oh, How could you not love her great. face? She, she looks great there. So cute. Uh, Shelby is doing well at home. We've heard from Casey, Shelby's owner. And by the way, the family's been so appreciative. If you'd like to help other pets in the future, there's two ways you can do yeah, that. You can contribute to the Shamrock Animal Fund or Cornell's Patient Assistance Fund. We've posted links to both on our website at cnycentral.com. Happens to be Heart Month, too, so perfect story. Great time to do it. As we wrap up that month.